Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Sometimes I think it's like osmosis. He'll just come in there. No, you read it, and he just, he just takes it, and he speaks to you, and he talks to you, and he tells you what he wants you to do. A miracle it is. Did you know that? It's a miracle that God even wants to talk to you. Amen. It's a miracle. Galatians 2.20. Paul writes, I'm crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, Brian. But Christ lives in me. And the life which I now live, I live by the faith of the Son of God, Dalman, who loved me and gave himself for me. His mind he wants, us, he wants to live in us. He doesn't want to control us. He just wants to live in you. He wants to motivate you. He wants to give you the word so you can speak to people. When you don't have a Bible in your hand, you've got Jesus in your heart. Come on, say amen. You got to hear the stories. If you really want to put other people first, Sean, you've got to listen to the story. Once you've heard that story, you got to let the mind of Christ develop that for you. Because putting other people first is not the first thing that we want to do. It's not the first order of business. Esteem others better than yourself. How many of you really want to put people before you? I mean, really. I mean, really. No. Not your inclination. I've used the illustration here before. I mean, Alberto and Alberto, you both are, you, we don't have the same industry. You don't work in the same industry I work in, and certainly. But let's say we did. Let me ask you a question. If there was really a job, if there was really, if there was really a job opening, and you knew I was really destitute, and we were both equally qualified for the job, all things equal, playing field equal, everything the same, boom, 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 you know. Um, could you let me have the job? See? The first thing, uh, first reaction is the right one. I know I would need that. I know he needs that job. It's going to be a little extra money, and he's going to be able to take care of his 11 children. It's all right, Sonia, we're not worried about that. But Ira needs it because, but we're, you know, we're equally qualified. We've been going through the company, all through the company, that, just neck and neck. We've just been really helping one another. And now they want to give us a promotion, but it's only one. And Alberto is like, I want that job, but Ira needs it more. Are you with me? You see, that's what servanthood, that's the third point. That's what servanthood is all about. See, we can help people that we like. Greater, greater love hath no man than this, than a man lay down his life for his friends. We can lay down our lives, Josh, for our friends. Certainly, if Allison was in trouble, you would, you know, you'd give your right arm, blood. You know, if somebody was shooting, you'd take the bullet. But that's your friend. Let's take somebody off the street who's from the hood, who's not a real nice guy, who may be beating people up, maybe even hurting Allison, doing something wrong. To get, and what would you do then? And somebody was shooting at him, would you take the bullet for him? No. But Jesus would. You see, servanthood is fine when we're talking about people we know and friends, Emmeline. But how about the people that we don't like? See, Emily doesn't really like me. She's just, <laughs> she's just putting on. Do you understand what I'm saying? The people that we re- the people, not only people that we don't like, the people that don't like us, that don't even speak to us when we come to church. 
See, Alberto and I can have a real conversation now about that. Come to church, Genevieve, and some folk just can't even say hi to you. Don't like you. Are you with me, Janet? Putting other people first. People that don't like you. That you don't like. Well, that's the sermonette. Now comes the sermon. <laughs> We've, we've, got to, we've got to go to communion. But let, let, me, let me just say this. Oh, yes. Make sure you do whatever, whatever we're supposed to do.